Oh, what is going on, people? Hope you're all doing well, having a great, safe weekend so far. Welcome back, as per usual, to Esports Talk. Today we talk about a story out there where I want you to picture your favorite esports CEO, whoever it might be. Whether, I'm not, I don't even want to name names because I don't want to associate them with this kind of story. That being, though, the story about Renegade CEO Chris Romea. If you guys have not heard about it, we talked about it previously this week. Now more information coming out about what this guy has supposedly said about some of his former members and staff on top of that. And it's pretty horrendous. If you guys did not see our first video about this, he, alongside other upper management, have been accused of lying, setting up staff and players against each other, and those lies are to both staff and players, um, delayed and late payments, amidst other things as well, including uh, abusive behavior, including emotional and verbal abuse. Now, more information brought to us by George from .esports. I will certainly link his full article down below for all of you guys because this will be an ongoing case. Some of the things that Chris has supposedly said about his former players and staff they're they're pretty um they're pretty hard to come by so in this as well apparently uh, in a recording that's now been leaked guys it was actually talking to a staff member about what chris does in his free time on social media accounts for renegades and that's his way of approaching attractive uh female recruits for the organization and the way he then talked about a former one that being chelsea a former rocket league streamer for renegades uh, apparently when asked about this topic Chris had some choice words where he apparently states sex sells. Let's talk about that. Sex sells, right? There's a lot of brands out there. Like, why do we have Chelsea, who was a former Rocket League streamer for Renegades as well? This isn't the first time we've reached out to a, whatever you want to call him, a boob streamer. And uh, if you thought he was done there, nope, he did continue. Would you rather we reached out to some really, really, like, horrendous person? He also goes on to apparently threaten an employee by saying he could put them under a microscope and find a bunch of stuff on them. He does not use the word stuff. I'm sure you guys can see what word choice he used instead. And later referring to another uh, employee as an effing idiot. Obviously, if you guys were, as we started the video, picturing your favorite CEO, can you ever fathom those people saying this kind of stuff? No, it's also kind of scary to know what's going on behind closed doors, some of the things that are being said or done that you might never know about unless these kind of things do come forward. Obviously referring to one of your own former members and why you approach them as a boob streamer because sex sells is not a good look for any esports organization and it's incredibly embarrassing for this to come out if it is true, which as of right now there's no reason to think it's not. And ending off this guys, there's also further allegations now. The first article I believe by win.gg now dot esports talking to further staff members about delayed or late payments and including other rumors that Renegades might be completely done in terms of of an ownership group already partially invested, I believe holding a 47% stake as we speak, that being Beasley Media Group, the same investors who bought the Houston Outlaws from the Immortals Gaming Club after they acquired Optic. Sorry for taking you down that string. Apparently, Beasley Media Group is set to take over the final shares of Renegades and take full ownership of the company in the coming months or coming time uh, in the near future. We will see if any other reports come out about this, guys. Certainly not a good look for an organization ran by a CEO if he did say these things. As per usual, though, back to uh, the weekend. I hope you guys all do enjoy it. If there's any events out there that were not canceled by coronavirus, you should be cheering here in esports because the hits, they keep on coming, unfortunately enough. And one of the uh, upcoming hits might be for an organization like Renegades. Until next time, drink your water, drink your coffee. Stay safe, everybody. I'll see you back here sometime soon.